What could it all mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. You may see both of those things later in this game. Hmm. Oh, oh, and that, that one, hurt. yeah. Oh, foreshadowing. I like we may foreshadowing. not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! Oh crap! Uh -oh. Problem. <laughs> um. He's a surfer. If if you didn't get it yet. He looks kind of like Jack Black. Hmm. Where are these people? Where do they end up? What's going on? Oh. Ew. Cheap mail order jewels? What happened to Hokie and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will. <laughs> as soon Not going to be that easy, Bernard. Diamond, then all your buddies have to do is oh, plug just in another their giant diamond. Yeah. Johns and Maybe a real one this time. In. Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 oh, yeah. years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans oh, of mine? I think I know. Plans? I think I know. How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? Stop whining. I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. <laughs> Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Okay, so that's the uh, basic plot that we're going to be following right now. Uh, we have to get our two Where friends I put them upstairs? back. Plans. Yes. To be it. Upstairs. Well, we have to get the plans, and, and the basic storyline is we have to get our friends back into these, into this time, yes, into the present. exactly. So step one, as, as you heard him say... Get the plans. Get the plans. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is that? It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. <laughs> oh! It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only... 0.01 seconds. Wow! <laughs> I suspect Dr. I've forgotten his name already. Edison. Is, I've got the uh, plans. Quick, a little absent-minded. <laughs> you have how no idea. You, get over there? you have no idea how long it took me to find those the first time I played this game. I like, believe I, I searched the entire mansion, and design, I think I probably please. had to look it up somewhere, too. <laughs> because, they I mean, they're really hidden. They don't look like they should be an item. Yeah. What? You really flush them. Yes! Down the toilet. <laughs> no! Through time! <laughs> Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can yeah. small inanimate Very objects useful. to each yeah. other. A, a lot of the puzzles in this game will be solved by uh, sending items to people in different times via flushing them down the toilet. Which is Hello. awesome. Yeah. Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if <laughs> what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's Maybe this game was better without voice acting. <laughs> I know, I'm just having a problem with his voice. With Hoagies. <laughs> Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. 
That actually seems like way too many greats, considering it's only 200 years in the past. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, doesn't that seem kind of weird? Shouldn't it only be like three or four, maybe? Maybe they married really young. <laughs> Um, get ten. Well, I once saw him take 3,000 without batting an eye. Didn't he pass Who would marry an Edison well, anyway? He was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save oh. the world, I guess. See. Now we oh. can control Hoagie, or we can switch back and control Bernard. Oh. So, we're gonna play as Hoagie right now, because the game wants us to. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Apparently the toilets are locked. Huh. This door yeah. appears to be locked. Not sure why, actually. Ye oldie outhouses. <laughs> Wait, oh, does he have a can opener? Yes, we, uh, yes, he has a can opener. Why? Okay, so we want to find Red Edison. Red Edison. That's what we're working on. Uh-oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get so. me down from here! Yeah, that that's going to be a, a bit of a problem. See, we cannot control her at all right now because if, you know, even if we switched over to her, nothing would be happening because we would just be sitting there in a tree. This is true. So we're going to look for Red Edison. His... Oh, we're we going to open, open the door <laughs> first. <laughs> that might be it. It's one of those kind of games. Uh. Let's see. If I were Red Edison, where would I be hanging out? Hmm. I'm gonna... Is it in there? Is Hoagie gonna fit in there? Oh. Nice music. <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> yeah, that too. Oh. Hey. He seems busy. <laughs> he looks Not familiar. my type. Whoa, what did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> told him to pick him up. Uh, <laughs> what is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Is this what science looks like? <laughs> exactly what science looks like. I know like. an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of <laughs> gifted inventors. My nearly no, indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Nah, well, the left I hate the name one, Jed. Anyway. Oh. Some sort of it's bad not, it's just not a good name. Side. Maybe that's what because when I was in high it? school, there was this kid named Jed who tried to set me on fire in the cafeteria. What are you inventing? I didn't ask that already, did I? I don't think so. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we have to actually uh, give him the plans. Maybe the can opener. No. I'd rather not. Oh. There we go. Mm, super battery. Right, well, we're almost done this part of the game now, right? Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oil, vinegar, and gold now we need. Okay. Oh, is there anything in here we can get, too, while we're, while we're hanging out? It's covered with plans and junk. Ooh, a hammer. Hmm. A left-handed hammer. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. <laughs> for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Alright, so we have a left-handed hammer now. And, ooh, how about a lab coat? Hey! Oh. Only employees are allowed Guess to Guess that's not gonna happen. Coat. Okay, so vinegar, what else? Gold. Uh, I forget. Hmm. Where would you like to go first? Down? Up? Uh, or upstairs. Upstairs. And, oh, paintings. Or, no? That's Max. <gasps> oh That's Max from Sam and Max. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. George is bed, George huh? I wonder who George is. Huh, I uh, wonder. <laughs> ah! What did you just do that for? 
because I could. Can you uh, fix it? The maid will. Oh. It's all rumpled up. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't see any gold or vinegar or myrrh or whatever in there. Uh, oh wait, did I actually look at the... The late Max Addix. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. 